Hey guys, I'm so excited about today's video and to hear what you think. So please let me know in the comments below. When I planned to do hair tutorials outside, I did not plan for the wind to be blowing. It was challenging, but we had so much fun. We started Braylee's hairstyle with her hair curled. I'll leave a link for a few different videos showing how to curl hair down below. I'm starting by taking a small section at the top and securing it with a clear elastic. Next, I'm taking another small section directly under the first section and including the first section. Secure all of it together with a clear elastic. Once it's secured, gently pull on the first section to create a little bubble. And then just repeat, taking a small section directly under, secure it all together, and pull on the second section, creating another bubble. Repeat that step one more time. This time, don't add any hair. Using a clear elastic, leave about an inch to two inch gap and secure it. And repeat to the bottom of the ponytail. Braylee had one more. And then pull to create a bubble with each of those sections. I love this style. I think it's so cute and fun. And you could also change it up a little by doing it on the other side too. Okay, you guys, I was struggling with the wind big time, but I absolutely love this hairstyle. My hair is straight, but the style looks so cute on curly hair too. I'm starting by pulling a section of hair out around my face. I'm taking a small section of hair and splitting it into three sections. I'm taking the back piece and crossing it under the middle piece. Then take the front piece and cross it under the middle piece. Next, cross the back piece under the middle piece again, but this time add a small section of hair directly under the braid to the back section of hair that you just crossed under the middle piece. And repeat the same thing with the front section. Cross it under the middle and then take a small section directly under the braid and add it to the front section of hair. And I'm holding the braid pretty tight while I'm braiding. I'm continuing the braid, repeating these same steps until I'm about halfway down the side of my head. And I'm just pulling that braid tight as I go. I'm pulling on the braid to make it bigger and a little more full. And securing it with a clear elastic and then I'm pulling that tight. I'm adding these fun clips. And I push my braid up a little when I put the clips in, just to add a little more volume. They add so much to this hairstyle. This is a simple hairstyle, but I definitely think it makes a statement. For this next hairstyle, Braylee's hair is parted down the middle and I'm doing two big Dutch braids down both sides of her hair. I'm taking a small section at the top on a slight angle, splitting it into three sections. Next, we're taking the back piece, crossing it under the middle piece. This time we're taking a section of hair from the side and adding it to that piece of hair, cross it under, taking the front piece of hair, cross it under the middle piece, and add a section of hair from the side. I'm repeating those same steps and I'm directing the braid on an angle down the back of her hair. I'm leaving a few pieces of hair around her face. Braylee is wearing clip-in extensions and braiding around them can be a little tricky and take a little more time, but they add so much volume to the braids. I'm also pulling on the braids as I go to create that fullness and to make the braid bigger. Stop the braid around where you want your messy buns to begin and secure with an elastic. Great. 
Repeat on the other side. And you can, of course, change this hairstyle up with a ballerina bun, a ponytail, or another braid. We love messy buns, so that's what we're doing. I'm pulling all the hair together. Using a hair tie, I pull the hair through and stop about halfway, twist the hair tie, and I'm still holding it open, wrapping the rest of the hair around the bun, and then securing it all together. Don't worry about any hair falling out. Any hair that falls out can be secured back into the bun. Now we want this messy, so I am pulling on the bun to make it big and messy. I love this hairstyle on its own, but adding this scarf is a great way to change it up, add color, and it just looks kind of dreamy. I love it. I'm starting this last hairstyle by pulling a few pieces of hair out around my face. Now I'm taking a section of hair from the front to the middle of my head. And I'm securing that loosely using an elastic. Right above the elastic, I'm making a little opening and flipping the ponytail through it. Next, I'm just gently pulling on my hair to give it a little more volume up on the top. And I'm pulling on the twists on each side to make them a little bigger and more noticeable. And then repeating this on the other side. I do kind of like this hairstyle too. It's very simple but different. I'm also going to be doing a messy bun. Since my hair is shorter, there are a lot of pieces that fall out. Just secure the pieces that you want back into the bun. Okay, again with this hairstyle, it looks great on its own but I love how it looks with a scrunchie. I also really love how it looks with a hat. All right, you guys, that is it for today's video. Please let me know what you think. I'm sorry about the wind. I know it made it a little more challenging to follow along with, but I still thought it was a really fun way to show you some different hairstyles. Thank you so much for watching. We'll see you next time. Bye-bye.